So now we've started to work with objects in Java, and that's a nice thing because what that allows us to start to do is have a little bit more sort of individuality in what we are designing, and we can actually start to make our programs, our programs talk to each other. And the reason why is because they're no longer programs. They're now uh, sort of this idea of objects. And since one object, let's say for example, you know, a student, well, a student has certain qualities to it, but we also have another object like course. And you can already start to see where this kind of idea is going is, you know, one student or a, one course can have so many students. We can have, we'll just say one course can have an infinite number of students because, you know, uh, we can we can work that way. We can we can uh, build out our class and, you know, we probably don't have that many. You know, here at Cape Fear Community College, we max out at 22 students. So we can start to have our programs, have our objects work together. And so one of the things that we started to talk about last chapter was this idea of using uh, this constructor and using this word this. Now that this command, what that allows me to do is actually start to use sort of the same variable names but in a different context. You see here we've got a little simple example. We've got the circle class uh, for example. What we can do is we can actually uh, make myself a private variable right here. Private meaning only my circle class, only my circle program has access to this variable. And I called it radius, and it's a double. Now, what happens if I want to make a new circle? Well, inside of some program, I would go and say circle C equals new circle. And what I'm doing is I'm actually saying create a new instance remember that big fancy five dollar word meaning version version I'm creating a new instance of the circle program the circle class inside there what happens is you know uh, if you can see I've got a little bit of a parameter inside my constructor so I want to be able to say new circle five now what happens Again, my parameter, I named it also radius. Well, that radius right now is not talking to this guy. These two th things are completely different. So what I have to do is I have to make them the same thing. And that's actually where this assignment operation is coming into play. I'm saying this radius, this radius right here, I want it equal to this radius, the parameter radius, the lo there we go, the local variables radius. This is the class variable, class variable. This is the local variable. Local variable. So now that we've started to build these things out, what we can do is we can do something known as uh, class abstraction and encapsulation. So this is you know very conceptual words going on here, but what they really mean is this idea of exactly what we were just talking about. This I have one class called student and I have another class. I start to build all of these different kinds of nouns as objects and how do they start to interact with each other. Again, any one course can have 21 to 22 students. It can actually have none and then it gets canceled uh, by Cape Fear Community College. Again, we probably also have, you know, me. I'm the instructor of the course. Instructor. So there's probably some relationship, some class, some other program for me, the instructor. And any one instructor can have, well, I actually teach a lot of classes, so I can have an infinite number of classes. Now, I wouldn't want to teach an infinite number, that's a big number, uh, but I can. I have the ability to. And that's where we again get into class abstraction and encapsulation.